Hello everyone. My name is Nithi. I am from Institute of Media Innovation, NTU Singapore. Today I will be presenting my paper, Does Elderly Enjoy Playing Bingo? A Case Study with Humanoid Robot Nadine. In this paper, we investigate the effects of humanoid social robot Nadine as a recreational activity host for the elderly. We evaluate that by placing Nadine humanoid social robot in a nursing home as a caretaker where she hosts bingo game. This research aims to apply the human robot interaction technology to draw the attention of elderly and simulate their interest. In this study, Nadine facilitates multiple sessions of bingo games for a group of elderly. To obtain the comprehensive understanding of the effects of Nadine in the nursing home, we use computer vision techniques such as deep neural network DNNs to automatically evaluate the mental and physical states of the elderly. Our research primarily answers the three questions, which are first, if Nadine can engage elderly positively, second, if robots as Nadine can help to decrease the workload of other staff, staff at elderly care. Lastly, what are the effects of using realistic humanoid robots for elderly care? We have investigated several, several studies where robots were used for hosting bingo games, recreational games as bingo for one or more elderly. We classify the competency of the robots used earlier based on three parameters, which are appearance, functionality, and the analysis method of their performance. We aim to assess if the humanoid robot such as Nadine with human-like features could emote natural human communication based on their structure, ability to make facial expression, gazing and gesture. For functionality, the robot's ability to show empathy, speak and understand speech in multiple languages, elderly memory and the manipulation of this memory and if they were able to control the environment as well using Internet of Things. Furthermore, we build our classification around the analysis method around the statistical results in previous studies, especially if they were, they were AI, ML enabled, if they were computer vision based technologies used or not. We have... Uh, Seeing the studies done in the literature, we believe that our study could be a step forward in, the, in introducing the humanoid Nadine social robot with human-like appearance and mimic its human behavior could be the novelty. For our study, we have used Nadine humanoid robot Nadine was seated in a wards activity area in the nursing home where she hosts bingo game to interact with elderly. Nadine is a socially intelligent, realistic humanoid robot with natural skin, hair and appearance. She has 27 degree of freedom which enables her to make facial movements and gasculates effectively. So for Nadine's social platform, it is three layer architecture, perception, processing and interaction. The perception layer allows her to take the information from her outside world, such as get the depth, skeleton of the person, image and audio, which it is, is sent into processing where she decides what to do with the information given in the environment, how to act upon it, what dialogue to be spoken and what gestures and expression to be made. Later, it is sent to interaction layer, which helps Nadine control her um, uh, her motors and also the uh, speech which allows her to speak, give expression, make facial expressions, uh, give gesture and do gazing. For our uh, experiments, we have updated some of the existing modules in Nadine and also made some new module, bingo modules in Nadine. For uh, updating the Nadine's module, we have updated uh, information, uh, the facial information of uh, the elderly in the care, care, care uh, home so that she can recognize more people. We have uh, also updated the affective system, the emotion engine, which allows her to be more appropriate to the uh, elderly, which also includes updating the speech tone and speed. We have made a new module, which allows her to host bingo game which allows her to also take uh, also control the TV around her so that she can so show number on the screen. Uh, 
she can also uh, using this module and uh, identify announce winners using buzzers which were fabricated in house uh, which el uh, the elderly can use when they are winning for data collection 29 elderly participated we used five camera across the hall to uh, across the ward to uh, record all the sessions nadin hosted 24 sessions two sessions were uh, hosted with care staff which were the baseline overall 130 uh, videos were analyzed for our data analysis we used uh, we uh, we uh, wanted to uh, uh, we wanted to get the information of elderly happiness elderly body movement and care staff movement for that, we use four network model. First is face detector, expression recognizer, action detector, and optical flow estimator. These uh, models uh, are uh, explained in the slides later. For face detector, the face detector detects the, uh, uh, estimates the location of the faces in the given frame. Moreover, all the residents were in the wheelchair, their relative locations can be inferred based on their face locations. Also, only elderly faces are detected since nursing care staff were wearing medical masks throughout their intervention in Nadine's bingo sessions. We adopted DLib library with its pre-trained pre CNN to implement the face detector. For expression recognizer and action detector, we used the results of face detector as base. The expression recognizer uh, uh, rec uh, categorized the expression of detected face. We considered two uh, classes in our case, smiling and neutral, and constructed CNN with rest and 15 big, uh, backbone. The expression recognizer is trained on celebrity data set. So here we can see the uh, score of the expressions of the elderly as well. The action detector is a method to measure the motions and actions of the detected face. It generates the action proposals, which are the location and confidences of the de detecting in action. We implement the action detector based on pre-trained temporal segment network provided in MM Action 2 library. The action detector informs us the movement of the elderly during the bingo game sessions, as the face detector detected only their faces. For optical flow estimator, it aims to at discovering moving targets. We propose to est estimate the dense. Uh, uh, we propose to estimate dense optical uh, flow via the recurrent all-pair field transformation network. At this moment, for an arbitrary region in any in a each frame, the average magnitude of the estimated optical flow in the region can be used to measure the intensity of movement of care staff during the bingo game. So. Uh, in this image, we can see one of the staff moving around. So uh, to explain our four network model, we use face detector for expression recognizer, which gives the happiness score, elderly happiness score. Uh, face detector was also used for action detector, which gives elder elderly movement score. And optical flow gives care staff movement. So for data analysis in part, we have calculated four score. One is happiness, two is activity, three is optical flow. So basically it is the happiness across all the videos, average happiness, average ha happiness across, uh, average activity across all the videos and average optical flow across all the uh, videos. So to compare the score when Nadine hosted the games and the session in which the caretaker hosted the games, an independent sample t-test was conducted. Before conducting the t-test, Levin's test of equality of variance was conducted to check the assumption of homogeneity. It was determined that two of the variables had unequal variance, variable smiles and body score. Therefore, for these two variables, modified degree of freedom were used. The means and the standard deviation of four variables in two situations can be seen in this, fi this figure such as smile with without nadine the neutral score with without nadine body score and optical flow in both the cases in order to de determine whether or not the reaction of the elderly changed through time beveret correlation uh, was calculated uh, beveret correlations were calculated between the four variables and the series serial number of sessions the higher the serial number is, the later the session was. So a correlation would apply a linear change in the variable with time. So the con 
so the results indicated three significant difference in the bingo session which were hosted by nadeen and with and the one which were not hosted by nadeen the elderly were smiling more they were um, moving around less and the optical flow which primarily relates to how many nursing home care staff had to move was also lower on the other hand there was no significant changes in the uh, in the on the other hand there were no significant changes in the variable through time this may be due to the nature of variables since the effects of nadeen are that the elderly is more concentrated happier and less needy seen through the lower movement of the staff it is plausible that these effects did not change over time furthermore this means that the positive effects of nadeen's presence can be seen very early and that no period of adaptation is needed to achieve the changes therefore her presence can be a immediate positive changes in nursing home or similar facility so in the beginning we uh, uh, talked about three questions which were if um, uh, the presence of robot uh, had any positive enforcement in the environment and in, for the engagement as well second if the workload on the staff decrease and third if there is positive if, if there is any effect of the humanoid appearance so for the uh for for the positive encouragement and enforcement yes because they, the the elderly were smiling more they were moving less for care staff of course the workload reduced because they were moving less around and then uh, all of this was taken more seriously by elderly as nadeen has more humanoid appearance more realistic appearance so in the study we can also conclude the realism of nadeen's appearance and interactions are of paramount importance for her usage in human interaction especially amongst the elderly that's all thank you i'll leave you with a short video here Thank you for watching this video and also watching the presentation. Any questions?